Hi there, Andrew Cresti is here with AudioBro. Let's go over the section setup page for the String Ensemble Library. In this example, we have the violins patch loaded. And the violins has seven different selections you can choose from. You can have all violins playing, which are 30 violins. That's comprised of actually 16 first violins and 14 second violins. Then you can choose to only hear violins one, which is 16 players, or violins two, which is 14 players, violins 1A, which is eight players, violins 1B, which is eight different players, violins 2A, seven players, and violins 2B. All of these players are different. All of these smaller sections are different, which comprise the larger section. So you have 30 different players. So when you click on a section up here, down here, you'll see an explanation of how the Auto DVC will interact with that section. So, for example, here it says Auto DVC enabled articulations keep the section size consistent at 30 players for up to four notes. That means when you play four notes, you'll have 8 plus 8 plus 7 plus 7, which equals 30. If you play three notes, you'll have 8 plus 8 plus 14. So, for example, if you look here, it'll be more obvious. I'll play one note, 30 players. Two notes, 16 plus 14. Three notes, 16 plus 7 plus 7. Four notes. And that is crucial for maintaining the actual player count when you write quarterly. So you avoid what is commonly known as sample buildup sound. So let's say you choose violins one. You have 16 players. Now the auto DVC enabled articulations keep the section size consistent at 16 players for up to two notes. When you play one note, you get 16 players. When you play two notes, you get eight plus eight. Let's go back here. When you have 14 players, it says auto DVC enabled articulations keep the section size consistent at 14 players for up to two notes. So when you play one note, 14 players, two notes, 14 players also, but seven plus seven. Now, what would happen if I played a third note? Well, the key here is that it wouldn't sound broken. It would just add another seven players. So, but it does it intelligently. So what it does is it plays seven players plus another seven players, and then it will add another seven players and then another seven players and will alternate. So you don't get the same players building up at the same time. So even when you have it set to two notes, you can play more than two notes and it won't sound broken. In fact, most people probably wouldn't even notice it. Then here, you can choose the actual individual Devisi sections by themselves. Now, when you choose these individual Devisi sections, you can still have the auto Devisi on, but all it's going to be doing is layering the same players on top of itself on the different notes. So to really get the benefit of auto Devisi, you want to be using one of these three selections setups up here. These lower ones are best for, in my opinion, when you want to have your own template and you want control of your own individual DVC section, and you want to have a MIDI channel assigned to each of these different players, and you can control them 100% independently. And that should cover the setup section. Um, I hope you enjoyed this, and thanks for watching.